Hey everybody, welcome to a quick tutorial on the Weatherbase tool for your optimizer campaigns. We're very excited to bring this to you and hope it makes managing your accounts so much easier so that you don't have to make lots of manual changes. You can instead rely on the automation through this tool. Now a quick reminder about where to find the weather-based rule for campaigns. It's going to be under optimizations. Optimize campaigns by weather. Now let's get into the tool. So in order to use this tool, you are going to need to pick a campaign and you are going to create rules by campaign. So you would do that under select your campaign. I already had one selected. In addition, it is useful to check the locations that you've targeted just so that you're making sure that you're selecting the right locations to impact this rule uh, as opposed to maybe locations that are not related. However, it is worth noting that if you target a location for this rule um, and it's not part of your location targets, it's still going to trigger because it's a location, uh, the, the alert is based off of the location that you've selected, not necessarily the locations in your campaign. However, we do provide you a very helpful list of all of the locations. If you want to add a location, you'll see I have one here. You'll type into the select uh, locations and you'll add a uh, location. Now you can start typing, for example, Boston, and I'll be given those options. In addition, you'll notice that when I uh, click in at default, I'm given any city in a particular country. Now the particular alerts that we have are based off of either it being hot or cold, it raining, it being cloudy, it being sunny, it thunderstorming, it snowing, or it being foggy. Now, each of these uh, weather conditions are going to have different impacts on people's purchasing patterns, on what kind of creative might do well, things like that. So the core actions that you'll be able to take with this alert are pausing a campaign, enabling a campaign, or to target a matching city and exclude non-matching cities. Now, this is, again, is very important to factor when setting these rules for locations that are outside of your core campaign location, because say, for example, your core campaign uh, is getting hit by thunder or rain or snow or, or bad weather, and there are other locations that you think would serve you well. If you choose that option of targeting the locations and excluding not matching, you might then exclude really important locations. So you just want to be careful about which options you choose. Now, just to go through a couple of examples, we're going to actually click the others and create a full set of rules. So say, for example, the weather today is pretty, uh, pretty cloudy, um, but maybe it'll be sunny tomorrow. So I might want to pause the campaign for the cloudy and enable it for the sunny. I might also want to, depending on my service, actually change that where I am focused on, key, on targeting people when they want to be inside as opposed to outside. Very important, again, to remember that you have a choice of whether this runs continuously being automated or whether you decide uh, to just run it this once. So if you decide to run it just the once, you'll uncheck that. If you decide to uh, run it continuously, you will toggle that. Now, as a reminder, this tool is based off of the signals that we get, as well as the data in your account. So if you have a campaign that you want to use this tool on, uh, and it's not in a corresponding account, definitely make sure that you're connecting that into your optimizer. At the moment, this is just going to be for Google. However, there are going to be opportunities for it to expand even further. Thank you again so much for taking the time to invest in learning about this tool, and we hope to see you on the next video. Cheers.